All right, now open Firefox back up and go to the revolutionary page. Go yeah. back go back to the documentation wiki. This? Yep. And scroll down to the common problems. And okay. the one that says, does revolutionary give me root? It says no, and it tells you where to download the zip file. Just save that. So what happened? Why are we to not either your desktop? What happened? Why are we not? Why do we? It's just not part of the process. The revolutionary just gives you S off. Oh. Okay. All right, save it. Okay. And we need to put that on the SD card. Just put it in the root of the card. Don't extract it. Put the actual zip file on there. Just right here. No, Wait, the, okay, the so actual zip file. Do not extract. Crap. That sucks. There. What am I doing? Okay. All right. And now on your phone, put it back in charge only mode. Can I close this? Yep. Oops, it. All right. Just unplug and plug back in. No, uh, unlock it and choose the uh, disk drive option from the notification drawer. Change it back to charge okay. only. Okay. Hit done. Okay. All right, so that should unmount it from the computer. And now we need to shut down the phone. So just hold it your car. There's a black spot. And that's probably a widget that was there previously. Okay, so what do I need to do? Hold down the power button and shut it off. Choose power off. Okay. All right. Now we're going to boot into recovery, and you do that by holding down the volume down key and the power button, and keep holding them down until it goes into the H boot. Volume down and power button, and just this. So I've got volume down, down, and I just push power. Yep. And just keep holding them both hold until it. you see it come up. Okay. It shouldn't take that long, so go ahead and unplug your power or your charging cable. Oh. Yeah, that did not do what we wanted it to do. You're either going to have to wait for it to boot or pull the battery. But go ahead and unplug the charging cable. Oh, actually, I know what's wrong. Unlock the device. Okay. I should have done this earlier. Go into menu and then settings. Help me out, I don't use the Android. <laughs> the menu? Yep, settings. There it is. Okay. Go down to power. Um, okay. And uncheck fast boot at the bottom. Got it. Okay. And then uh, unplug the cable and turn it off. Power off. So what happened? It just didn't shut down all the way. When you so have fast food? when you have fast food enabled, it does not let you use power down or volume down and power to get into the H boot. Okay. All right. So now hold down volume down and the power button. All right, I'm just going to do volume now and then hold down power. 
Okay. Okay, I'll you can let go. Me. Yep. And now use your volume down key to go down to recovery. Okay. And then hit your power button. Okay. That should boot us into clockwork mod recovery. Okay. And it does. All right. And we need to flash a zip, uh, install zip from SD card is the option you want. Use your volume keys to scroll down, power to select it. Okay. To zip? Yep. First option. Okay. And then go down to okay. the SU file that you put on there. Okay. All right. Power button. Mm -hmm. And go down to yes, you do want to flash it. Okay, that should give us root. So now go to the go back option. And then okay. reboot. Reboot system now? Yep. No chance I should have backed this thing up before I uh, did all this, is there? It's always a good idea. You could have done a temporary root using Freevo, install, and then uh, installed something like Titanium Backup to back up all your apps. But this is going to work. This is going to be no problem. Yeah, we, we, we've already been successful with this. Once you boot up, you should already have root, and we'll verify that by making sure that the super user app is in your app drawer. Okay. And that should be it. If the clockwork mod recovery had not installed correctly, then we would have manually installed a recovery, which is what I had to do. And I installed the TeamWin recovery project, which you can find on the Evo 3D Android development forum on XDA developers. <clears throat> okay. All right, just open up the app drawer. It should be the left icon at the bottom. Okay. And look for super user. Should be in alphabetical order. Yep. There you yeah. go. All right, go ahead and open that up. All right, so we are successful. You have root, and you have S off, so now once the custom ROMs are available, you can begin flashing them. Nice. So what's cool about this? You can install things like wireless tether, so you can tether with your other devices. Uh, you can have titanium backup, and there's some other various apps, such as ad-free to allow you to block ads. Cool. All right. I think we're done. All right. Hoo, 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 hoo.